Hi guys, my name is Ali. I'm a medical student here in Southern California. What I'd like to do today is give you some tips and advice on some of the things that I used to study for the USMLE Step 1 examination. Now, I get asked this question a lot and that question is, what main book did I use? Um, and what question bank did I use? And how did I study for the exam? And don't worry, um, people are going to have different study strategies. They're going to have different resources. Um, but, you know, whatever fits to what you're used to and what you'd like, uh, be confident with that and it'll work out for you. So with me specifically, I didn't use any courses or anything like that. I just stuck to the books and a question bank and I made my schedule um, focused on how I felt like I could study. So uh, the main book that I used was First Aid for the USMLE. First Aid for the USMLE is a very popular book. It's a great book. Um, and basically, not only did I use this book for the weeks just leading up to the exam, but I also kind of used this book to annotate on um, as I was progressing through my uh, first and second year. So basically, if there was a, a, a note or something that wasn't in here, but you know, as I was studying first year, let's say, um, I would add it on to there if I thought it was very useful uh, come the exam time. So I basically annotated this book first and second year, and I, excuse me, I also highlighted it using the color schema that um, I find very useful uh, for my purposes. I also tabbed the book. Uh, you can do this or not, but I, I found it very useful to kind of like, you know, easily access the different sections. And so um, I would do that just to save time if you'd like. So this is the main book that I used. Um, in general, and then this is the main book that I used for pathology specifically. This is Pathoma Fundamentals of Pathology. This book is a very common book that most medical students around the world use. Um, not only is it a small book, it's a very small book, uh, very condensed, high yield facts, uh, but it also comes with online access to these great videos that Dr. Sitar um, makes himself. And man, the, this resource, I can't stress enough how important it was for me and how important it is for many medical students. And I'm sure you guys already know, you've already heard of the, these videos, but I basically um, accessed, I went through this book and also through the videos each and every single day leading up to the exam as well. So for pathology, this is my main resource. Uh, next resource was uh, for microbiology specifically, and that resource is, for me, Picmonic. Uh, there's another resource called Sketchy Micro. A lot of people like that one, but I used Picmonic, and it worked for me. So whichever one you'd like to use and uh, well, you know that works for you, uh, go to that one. You know, Picmonic for me, I think it was like 13 bucks a month. Uh, I think that's what it goes. They have different plans. Uh, go ahead and check the prices as you see fit. And I think Sketchy Micro is like 159 bucks for 12 months. Great deals for these resources. Do you need them? Maybe, maybe not. I found them very useful, so I would definitely recommend them for you. Now, as I was going through my micro section, I would reference this book, my first aid book, and I would see if, you know, whatever bugs were in here, you know, uh, whether it was a parasite or a virus or a bacteria, I would make sure it was on here and try to find that picmonic for it specifically. And so I would basically hit around 15 to 20 microbes per day. And I basically did that every single day leading up to the exam as well. So for microbiology, I used picmonic and I recommend it. Uh, next section is pharmacology. Basically pharmacology, I didn't use any cards. Uh, you know, I definitely bought like three, three decks of cards. I never really used them. Um, I basically stuck to this book right here. Again, this book basically has most of the things that you really need to know. And so, you know, each and every single day I kind of um, studied uh, based off of topics. So let's say, for example, cardiology. I hit cardiology for physio. I hit cardiology for path uh, pathology. And then when it came time for, you know, either micro or pharmacology, I would go to this book um, to make sure that I got um, all the ones that I needed to know uh, for the exam. So for pharmacology, I basically used that book and that was it. It was just rote memorization. 
Next was my question bank. And which question bank did I use? That question bank was UWorld. UWorld is great. Uh, you know, I'm very familiar with UWorld. A lot of you already know if you've watched my previous videos. Um, I don't have any qualms about any other uh, question bank, but this one is uh, very useful for me. And, you know, I was successful when I used it. So I continue to use it for um, step two purposes as well as, you know, obviously studying for the step one. Um, so also what I did was I used the practice NBME exams, um, also link below. So the practice NBME exams I used each and every single week uh, leading up to the exam. I think I did five or six of them and um, you know I would get explanations. It didn't really give explanations but I, um, I you know went with a friend and I, we would talk talk about the topic that was uh, in question. So these are basically the main resources that I used. Uh, I definitely recommend them. Um, basically a, a study schedule for me consisted of this. You know, it was kind of like a somewhat different each and every single day, but it was basically this. I would wake up, I would have my breakfast, wake up around seven, eight, have my breakfast and do some push-ups and then I went straight to UWorld. So, you know, I t went, did away with all the distractions, no TV, no phone, turn it all off, and uh, dedicate that time specifically for questions. Because basically, you're going to take that exam, you're going to take it early in the morning, so having that habitual, uh, habitual, like you wake up and you do questions, will prepare you for the exam as well. At least that's how I felt, you know, leading up to the exam. So I would do my questions and basically I did two blocks uh, with the explanations and then after I was done with that, uh, it was basically lunchtime. I would have my lunch and then I would basically study about an hour to two hours um, depending on whatever the topic was from this book directly. Then I would also study about one to two hours with the pathology section with the videos as well. Actually, videos mainly with this kind of like following along. And then I would have at least an hour of Picmonic uh, or pharmacology. Now, some of you like Anki cards. I, you know, I loved Anki cards my, during my first and second year, but I didn't really use it during the uh, study preparation of the USMLE Step 1. But definitely, I would if you do Anki cards and you have the USMLE Step 1 type Anki cards, I would definitely utilize that uh, for an hour each day as well. And so basically, that was my schedule. I would wake up, do two blocks of UWorld, have lunch, uh, study about an hour to two hours from the first aid USMLE Step 1 book, and then an hour to two hours using the pathology book, and then I would study, you know, either Picmonic or Pharmacology for another hour, and then I would call it a night. I would have dinner, call it a night. Now, intermittently and interspersed throughout the, uh, throughout the weeks leading up to the exam, I would also try to hit those biostats and behavioral science uh, sections um, just randomly throughout because, at least for me, it was, you know, I'd learn it and then I'd forget it. I'd learn it and then I'd forget it. And then, you know, as I did that off more often, I'd forget less and less and less. And then, you know, finally leading up to the exam, I actually knew the stuff, um, the stuff that I needed. And, you know, so don't forget those sections. They're actually quite easy uh, points. The, the questions were fairly straightforward. Uh, they don't really trick you, but as uh, you need to know the definitions and, you know, the different equations. They're very straightforward. Um, so don't forget to do those. I recommend at least doing them, you know. Um, the two weeks before the exam just so you have an idea and um, you're familiar with the equations. And that's basically it. Uh, I did an NBME ex practice exam every Saturday. Uh, I would wake up and I would basically do a mock exam every Saturday and right afterwards I would go with a friend and we would uh, basically review the NBME questions that we got wrong and that was it. See the sections that you are not performing as well as you'd like to, um, and then modulate your schedule to kind of like you know do better on the on that section the next week and the following week and thereafter. So these are the resources: basically, first aid for the step one, uh, pathoma, picmonic for micro, for pharmacology I would also use first aid, 
And uh, for UWorld, Question Bank, I would, uh, the Question Bank was UWorld. And so these are my main resources. I uh, hope you do well. You're going to do great. Uh, you're gonna it's gonna it's a stressful time that's just how it is but uh, just stick with it stick with with whatever schedule you have and you'll do well I hope you found this video useful um, if you'd like to see more videos or if you like this video please subscribe and hit the like button and I'll catch you guys later take care